We continue to follow widespread peaceful protests throughout Cuba. As Cubans are calling for freedom and human rights, they are standing up to Cuba's authoritarian regime. The lady hitting the rocks together is saying, the time has come, and just in a second, you'll see the soldiers take his phone away. Their basic needs are not being met, and they are understandably exhausted. We commend the people of Cuba for showing great bravery, the strength of their will, and the power of their voice. In response, the Cuban government has attempted to silence their voices and communications through internet shutdowns, violence, and arbitrary detentions of dozens of protesters, journalists, activists, and other repressive tactics. This is Dina Stars. She's one of the very few influencers they have in Cuba. She has a YouTube channel and a Twitter account. And she was in the middle of giving a live interview to a Spanish television station when the security forces showed up at her door and told her to come out. She came back in just to say that she has to go, and that she makes the government responsible for anything that happens to her. She's been brave enough to report what's been going on, and for that, you can see here she's being taken away. The people standing by, powerless, wondering if they'll ever see her again. We remain deeply concerned by the Cuban government's, quote, call to com combat, and by the images of violence that we have seen over the past two days. We call for calm and we condemn any violence against those protesting peacefully, and we equally call on the Cuban government to release anyone detained for peaceful protest. <laughs> And further down the street, you could barely make out the soldiers who were beating people back into their houses. They eventually reach these men where they take the cameraman's phone. En cualquier momento me desconecto para unirme a, a la marcha. No, qué triste, señores, qué triste el pueblo cubano. Mira lo que tiene que pasar. 
esto es lo último ya. No, lo último ya. Triste todo, caballero, triste, muy triste. Ya, ya. ya. El ya. ¿Qué? ¿Teléfono? No, no me va a quitar. Cuidado. Ahí está. Ahí está. Ahí está. Ahí está. Venezuelans have suffered for far too long under a regime that engages in widespread repression and human rights abuses, targeting those who are attempting to build a democratic country with leaders and institutions that are accountable to the people. Listen to me, my people. Listen to me. We need to share this in and out of Cuba. They need to know that we know what is coming. There are many of the special brigade who are separating themselves, who are renouncing, who are turning in their uniforms because they don't want to oppress the citizens of Cuba. They don't want to oppress their own citizens. It's my understanding, I was told, that there are some 70 special agents, members of an elite group of that special brigade, 70 people, 70 military members who have already turned in their uniforms. And there is division amongst them. This is very important. There is division amongst them. They are breaking out weapons never before seen. They are breaking out new weapons. Upon seeing the division between the police, Buena Roja, Buena I don't know what, those members of the elite brigades, what they're doing is they're going to Venezuela. They're going to get the Cubans, the Cubans who are in Venezuela, who are special brigade, and take them there. On top of that, they're going to take Venezuelans to oppress Cubans. You have to take this into account. Those people are assassins. If this happens, I'm telling you, those people are assassins. I could never reveal my source ever in my life. But trust me when I tell you, he is a member of that special brigade. He was in that team and he has information. There is division within them here in Cuba. But on top of that, they're going to Venezuela. They're going to collect the rest of their team that was in Venezuela. But on top of that, they're bringing Venezuelans. And this is very dangerous. I'm sending this video out so it can be shared. So the world can know. So the people in Cuba can know. And so we all can know what is going to occur in the next few hours. That is what is happening, folks. Greetings. No more ice cream. Sorry, Charlie.